With the release of the GroupWise 18 code, new SSL requirements have been put in place for the web access solution. In the past, we allowed for non-SSL connections and a number of installations took advantage of that option, but let's be honest, that just isn't a good practice these days. The preferred option is to have a third-party signed certificate from a recognized CA. However, this video will cover creating self-signed certificates if needed, as well as the additional configuration steps needed to add the certificates to Apache for the solution to work on a SLES Linux server. I'm demonstrating on a SLES 12 SP3 server. Similar steps are required for SLES 11 and are covered in a technical information document. Please see the link below in the description. For Windows installs, the SSL configuration is handled automatically within the Tomcat install, so no extra steps should be needed. So let's get right to it. On this server, I have just completed a GroupWise web access installation, and I've also run the configuration option. I'm now ready to set up Apache for SSL. The first thing I need is a certificate and key file. I don't have a third-party cert, so I'll quickly generate a self-signed one. I'll open the terminal on the server, and for this demonstration, I'm going to create and enter a new folder at the root of the system called certs. I'll use this folder to hold both the .crt and the .key file to make it easier to see what I'm doing in a future step. I'll be using the open SSL command with several options and arguments. I won't hash through all the parts of this command, but basically it will trigger a request, ask a few questions, then output the certificate and key file. In this example, the certificate will be good for one year or 365 days. You can make that longer if desired. After executing the command, I get asked for a country code, US in my case, next a state, and a locality, Take some time and some care to enter your company name and then the unit name. The common name needs to be the host name of the server. Since I'm not running a DNS server in my lab, I'm simply going to enter the IP address of this server. It must match whichever option you choose. And once we are done, we should see the certificate and key file in our certs folder. Now we can move on to setting up Apache to use these certificates or your third-party certs if you have them. Enabling SSL in Apache is a two-step process. The first is to enable the SSL module and to enable the SSL flag in the Apache file. This is done by executing the following two commands with root access. If you are already logged in as root, you don't need the sudo prefix. The commands will make changes to the etc sysconfig apache2 file. A2 and mod SSL. As you can see, it is already set or present for me. The second command is a2 n flag SSL. Note the uppercase letters in this case. Again, that flag is already enabled for me, so I'm now ready to move on to the second step. I'm going to change to the slash etc apache2 slash vhosts.d folder and list the files. I'll make a copy of the vhost ssl.template file and name it to vhost ssl.conf. Once done, I'll edit the new .conf file and make changes to the path lines for both the SSL cert and the SSL key file. If you want to play by the rules, copy your third party cert and key file to the cert and key paths listed and enter the names of your files. In my case, I'm just going to point both to the slash certs folder I made earlier and simply enter the names of the files that were created. I'll save and exit and I should be done. I'm restarting Apache and Tomcat to make sure both come up. If there are errors when restarting, it could be an issue with the certificate or the path to the file. Try a new cert or go back through the .conf file and make sure there isn't a typo or a problem with those paths. Finally, I'm going to do a netstat-peanut and grep for 443. I want to see that the SSL port 443 is in a listen state. If your firewall is active, make sure both port 80 and 443 are open. So that's a very quick walkthrough on the new SSL requirements for web access in GroupWise 18. We hope this information is helpful. Thank you.
Thank you.